a busy bush cricket and an honest honeypot ant. Then it's a bush cricket. What? No, that's a grasshopper. Its chirp chirp noise is the same. No no no! That's bush cricket, and they eat other insects. A carnivorous insect. Please. Oh! Apparently, bush crickets eat smaller bugs and even their own kind. What? <laughs> but then we have nothing to worry about. You said it only eats other bugs. We're human. <laughs> We're as small as bugs right now. It wouldn't know we're not bugs. That's true. Sissy, what do we do? What do we do? Shh. Don't move. Insects have no nose or tongue. They search for prey with their antenna. Here we go. The most important sensory organ of insects. An insect's antennae are usually between its eyes. Here! The fine and short furs on the antennae detect the food and taste it. They also notice the movement of air. Oh, shh! Don't even breathe! <laughs> Did I scare you? Me, the bush cricket. As you know, I'm carnivorous. Yum, yum, yum. And, well, sometimes I do eat my species. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. I sometimes even eat bigger animals, like frogs. <laughs> I rub the left and right front wings and make a chirping sound. And a female cricket listens to the sound and then comes to find me. So once a year, we mate. The female lays eggs in the ground. And the eggs stay in the ground during the winter. You see this great hind leg? I can jump quite well. And even though I have such wonderful wings, I am not very agile, which is a bit of a shame. <laughs> hmm, suddenly I'm hungry. I wonder if there are any delicious insects nearby. Um, um, I'll be going now. Right, Cindy. Cindy! Orthopterus have long legs and are excellent at jumping. They can jump as high as a meter. Oh, then will we become its food? <laughs> it's coming this way! Then use your slingshot. <laughs> After all, ants! What? Ants? Yeah! Then snap out of it! Even if you were super hungry, how could you think about eating ants? What are you talking about? I eat ants? I mean honeydew! Honeydew? Right! Ants eat on the honeydew of aphids. Aphids? They are pests that damage crops! Come on, Cindy! Aphids suck on the plant sap from buds or tree branches and secrete excess sugars. That's honeydew. It's sweet, so ants like it. <laughs> How delicious looking. Aphids, this way! 
Ants, get out of the way! Ants protect aphids from its natural enemies and get sweet. Huh? What? You want to eat aphid poop? No! <laughs> That's so funny. That's not what I'm talking about. Honey ants. Honey ants? My actual name is the Honey Pot Ant. Actually, I'm a worker ant. Among the worker ants, the strong and resilient young ants are chosen to be honey ants, like me. When my worker ant friends collect the nectar from honey of flowers and aphids, I save it in my body. I eat much more honey than I need, so my stomach swells more and more. In a month, it becomes completely full and round like a jar. What? You're asking why I'm so greedy? Oh, no, no! I live forever on the ceiling. Then other workers come to me and stroke me with an antenna. I give it all back. In my honey, in addition to sugars, there are also amino acids and fats. In Australia, some aboriginals use my honey as a sweetener or eat it as a snack. So what do you think? I mean, aren't I great? Yeah! Honey ants take in honeydew until its body becomes as big as a grape. <laughs> Is my tummy big enough now? And when the ants go, go, are go. low on food, they share their honey with others. Guys, come eat! So we can find honey ants and eat their honey. We just have to search for honey ants, huh? Friends, please help me find the ant colony so that we can meet the honey ants.